In this video, I'll be using Digital Scrapbook Artist 2, and I'll show you how to superimpose an image onto a kaleidoglobe. So let's begin by bringing the images onto the screen. So I'll start with the kaleidoglobe, and I'm just going to increase the size, and then I'll bring the image on of my husband and I, bring that onto the globe, and I'll increase the size of that also. Then the next step is to cut this picture into a circle. So I'm going to use the scissors icon, select on punches, and choose circle. And you can see that it draws a circle automatically for me. I'll select cut, and then I can remove the areas that I don't want, and I have a perfect circle. I'm going to click on the select key, and I'm going to make the image slightly larger, and then just position it on top of the globe. The next step is to make this image transparent, and to do that I'll click on the transparency tool, and it's the one that looks like a wine glass. Then go over to the menu and select radial, and you can see that the transparency effect has been added to the image. Now dead in the center of the image there's a black circle. Don't click on the circle, but just move a fraction of an inch above it, clicking on the blue line, you'll create another dot. Now when I click and hold with my mouse, as I move up the line, you can see the transparency just by our faces there becomes less. And the closer I go to the outside of the circle, the whole image starts to lose its transparency effect. So what I want to do is I want to bring it in, but I want to have less transparency around the picture of my husband and I. So when I release, you can see all the outer edges are nice and transparent, and we still have a nice picture of us in the center. So I'll click on the Select tool, and now this image has been imposed or superimposed onto the globe. Now with my mouse, I'm going to click and draw an imaginary box, and this is going to select both the images. I'm going to click on Group, and now this image has been saved as one image. So if I click outside the box here and click on the image, I can freely move that around the screen as one piece. And I can also decrease the size if I wanted to, and or increase. So now this effect has been completed, so you can save this image in any digital format that you like and use in other digital applications.